Good morning, everybody. I'm at Riverview early, early, early in the morning. And I wanted to come here and do a, another shoot of one of the scenes that I like um, in the summer. The last time I was here was, I think, just before spring. There were no leaves on the trees. Now there are leaves, so it gives it a completely different feel to it. All those luscious leaves, light greens, dark greens. Just a few more sips of the coffee. And I'll get going. Hmm. I've got the 14 by 17. A couple sheets of x-ray film. For this video, I'm gonna try to not talk so much and just do. Yeah, let's do it. pinhole today, lens photography today. Start off with my 355. I do have to tell you about this new dark cloth I bought. It's actually a curtain, a, a blackout curtain I got from a furniture store near me. It cost under 30 bucks. White on one side, black on the other. Huge. So this is going to be my new dark cloth for my 14 by 17.
That was a bit of a battle. The issue is my bellows. <clears throat> because it's a piece of crap. I made it myself. It's a piece, it is a piece of crap. It's always in the way so of the image. So I gotta make sure it's not cutting off anywhere. Which really limits any of my movements. Getting the back standard parallel, front parallel. Skipping that, and I'm just going with camera tilted back, not parallel to the facade. There's going to be a bit of upward thrust in the image, but that's okay, it might work. Okay, so putting the yellow filter on. Yellow filter. I'll add a stop, compensation for that. starting to pick up. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. Let's see, X-ray, EI-80 plus a stop. 40. Usual spots. We'll measure in there. And the bright area. Oops. Of the facade. There's also light here. I'm also going to check in the trees there. I'm also on this big tree here. Very bright in the grass. The trunk is about five stops different, so if I put the shadow on the tree, that would be the grass here. So Shutter speed on this thing. There you are. What we got here? Second. Five and a fate. Two seconds at eleven and a third. That's on three. That's at twenty-two and a third. So two seconds. Reciprocity with reciprocity. Let's check that. seconds is about a third stop more so put you to F22. Big holder, two sheets of film. Um, I'm keeping the dark cloth on while I'm handling and uh, pulling the slide out and everything because I, I noticed a few light leaks the last time I used the camera. that. Remember, I built this camera myself, so he's crap. Okay, make sure the shutter is closed. Check. Slide. Two seconds. And I'm going to shoot another one, but this time I'm going to wait. Eight. Three seconds there, who cares? Okay, let's get the slide back in. And that's it, folks. That is all she wrote. I wish I had another film holder. But these things are really expensive. Maybe one of these days. Actually, I think I need a better bellows. So maybe when I have time, I'll make a new one and I'll make it properly. Oh, that one's gonna blow up. So anyways, I'm all done. 
got two sheets of film. Hopefully there's no vignetting. At some point today I'll be in my darkroom to develop this film. I hope you guys join me. See you guys there. Take care. Okay, so I'm going to develop for six minutes. I'm not used to unloading film this way. Okay, film goes in. Here's that brown, it's kind of sort of brownie, can you sort of see? In the corner there. But I'll keep rinsing it until that's all gone. Okay, so I've developed one of the two, and I'm just going to check the uh, density range of this negative with my little densitometer. So what I'll what I do is I'll measure um, the density, of film base plus a fog density. and it's 0 0.31 then I'll just zero that out. That's about what it usually is. Now what I'll do is I'll measure bright areas. 183 yeah, 183 184 and I'll measure, try to measure shadow area um, down in these trees for my minimum yeah, 0.31. So 0.31 is my minimum. process. Good news, no hybrid herald here to mess things up for me. Nope. Not today.
fix you. 